Yeah, so um, following up uh, uh, with Mike, who asked about the Yamaha um, synth, it looks like a card or something. Um, yeah, uh, you do need to set up a, a program change with every patch change. Um, but I don't know if it's as difficult as you see. Let's kind of talk about that. And plus, also, the Scott had a question about setting up patches, uh, patch names. How did I do that? So let's get, we're going to use the JDXI as an example. So the first thing, I kind of briefly mentioned this, but you've got to set up your banks, okay? So you name your bank. There's an MSB and an LSB. You've got to get all your values right, okay? For, so for bank one... You've got that bank, well, zero and one and two and three. And specifically, uh, I'm going to see if I can jump over here to, uh, uh, here we go, this Yamaha book that he was talking about. So so we've got a bunch of voices here. And what it does is it, it, it covers the program change here, but the MSB and the LSB are right here. So to set it up for... Uh, uh, this bank it has to be zero zero, so that's you can call it what you want, but that could be bank one. Uh, then this could be bank two. This could be bank three. This could be bank four. Uh, that sort of thing, and it looks like there's some over here. And as a, there's a second page too. I mean, there's not a lot on this. I, I also have a Yamaha. It's a Yamaha TG100 years ago. Uh, and I did get it set up on Logic as well. So it's a, it's a very similar similar setup. So let me scroll back up. So uh, knowing that we have a patch change, but we also have a bank change right here, okay? Uh, and this must be like a different mode. So I, I mean, because the settings are exactly the same here. So uh, that that's going to differ. So let's come back to Logic and Environment. So anyway, so... For the TG, not the TG, the X, XD, JDXI, uh, you know, basically got FM1, FM2, analog, and drums. But it can be the same. I'll, I'll pull up the TG101 uh, uh, one later, but just kind of show you. So you set up these banks, okay? Uh, then we, let's bring up the environment again. And... Uh, I double clicked on it, but I think you can also open Object Editor. So those banks that we've created are reflected here. The reason it has this name on it because it's usually the first program name. So the first bank, if I go to zero, that's going to correspond to the custom bank. Oh, look, I can open both up. I didn't realize that. That's going to correspond to this bank zero, so the MSB and the LSB. So as you go through the program changes, which is zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth, those things are going to show up. Uh, they're going to show up for bank one. Now, if you want bank two, or you can see how it works, zero, one. It's a little confusing. So uh, let's use the search. The language that it uses is zero here. Bank zero corresponds to this bank zero, right? Bank one is a whole other set of sounds, okay? And uh, bank two uh, has the analog sounds, and bank three has the drum sounds. But let's say we had another bank, okay? So you can create another bank. Initialize new bank. Initialize. I hate doing this because then you can never get rid of this now. Uh, maybe you can, but I, I don't know how. And the first thing you're going to need to do over here is you're going to need to create a new bank. Uh, so, oh, so we're going to make this bank four, and then I'm going to create another one. Uh, bank, even though I don't really have a bank four, you know, we can just kind of pretend like there is. I wish I could. And then I accidentally had created this one somewhere here, like that. Okay, so we have these two bank fours, but it's not this. It's a control. Oh, I think I just crashed. So let me pause this for a second. All right, so I'm going to do this again. Uh, what you really want to do is is uh, you assign it as a controller because these are all controllers. And you can hit controller, and we can make that four. And then you can hit controller again 
getting confused about which one's the right one. Uh, but I think that looks good. And then we have these two controllers. Now, do not crash on me, darn it. Seems to be having a problem. You're going to basically want to click here. Instead of setting it to controller 7, you want to set it controller to controller 0. And then the second one is a bank LSB, and that's controller 32. Now, you know, on different scents and older scents, sometimes they use different stuff, so you're going to have to check that out. Then it's important that for the uh, MSB and the LSB, you get those set right. So, for instance, if we look at this um, Yamaha item, say you were trying to do this one over here. So your MSB is 0, but your LSB is 12. So you come over here, and you would go uh, MSB 0, but this would be, what, 12? And that would set a bank four on that machine to jump to that bank. However, so this is that bank four, zero, one, two, three, four. However, when we go back to um, our environment, and we double click here, and we had created this four, bank four, then you also need to get all your, your names in there. So as I was mentioning to Scott, I mean, Basically, the way that is, this is not something you can copy and paste. But if you have something, I'm wondering if I have any uh, synth stuff, like some of the original files I put together. Give me just a second. I'm going to pause. Okay, for instance, um, I'm going to open up a file I did for the analogs. You know, either however you got to get it into something. I'm using a text edit. I guess you could use Word. So I have all these items. Okay, I'm going to copy. I'm going to come back over to uh, Logic. And you can literally paste these in. It'll go all the way across. Of course. Oh, maybe I need to select them all. There's a way to do this. I just can't remember. Oh, cut all names. Paste all names. There we go. You kind of get the idea. So that was this group, just the analog group. And these are all blank, so you might have to go manually in, or you could copy a bunch of blank and get rid of them. So it actually is that simple once you get it. So gathering all that information, getting them right. If you have custom names, you manually have to go through and figure it out what's on your on your board and if you change names you know you might want to go in and change this but that's basically how that works then when you come back over here although there is not really a bank four but let's say we're on this track and we went to bank uh bank four zero one two three was drums and bank four remember how i had those program uh other ones i didn't clear out well, this is that particular bank. And when you choose bank, that's going to send those MSB and LSB values, whereas this is going to send the program value. So it's important. You don't want to just leave this on nothing because that, that doesn't send a bank, con bank control. So that's why you need to set both of them. I hope that makes sense. No, it's not exactly simple, but uh, it is it is doable.